Assalamualaikum and very good morning madam. We are from group 8. Now we want to discuss about case study downplaying supply of the long beans after price cap. So this is our group member. We have 10 group member madam. Alright, this is a face of my group member. This is also our face group member. Based on the graph 1, the original equilibrium E1 is reached when the demand curve T1 intersect with the supply curve S1 at price P1 per kilogram and quantity Q1 kilogram. Before heavy rains, the demand for long beans will increase. It is because during high raya, the public demand for long beans increase. So, the curve of demand shift to the right from D1 to D2. The new equilibrium of long beans is E2 rich when the demand curve T2 intersect with the supply curve S1. Price of long beans increase from P1 to P2 and the quantity increase from Q1 to Q2. Based on the graph 2, the original equilibrium E1 reached when the demand curve T1 intersect with supply curve S1 at price P1 per kilogram and quantity Q1 kilogram. After the heavy rain, many long beans are damaged and this will reduce the number of long beans production. So the curve of supply shift to the left from S1 to S2 and the new equilibrium is E2 and the price rises to P2 per kilogram and quantity falls to Q2 kilogram. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Hafizah Tunisha Binti Rohadi. Now, I will explain what is a price ceiling. Okay, a price ceiling is a set the maximum legal price that a seller may charge for a product or a service. It is also known as a maximum price legislation and it is set below the equilibrium price. A government can also impose a price ceiling at their on all products or a very wide range of product to try the restrain inflation. So that means a price ceiling is at stake by a government. Okay, government control the price. Uh, as a seller, a seller must follow the price ceiling for uh, if one sues sales uh, in at one product or a services all right so for example a long beans for hari raya the the price ceiling is six ringgit and fifty cent so that's mean a seller cannot be more than price ceiling but the seller must be a set below the price ceiling okay for example sixty uh six ringgit and fifty cent so the seller uh, can uh, sale at the uh, six ringgit or fifty ringgit and fifteen cent. All right. The advantages for this price ceiling, or we can call maximum price, is a consumer will purchase a good and a service at a lower price. And number two, try to restrain the inflation. All right. So the disadvantages is also emergence of the bad market. So that's mean, uh. We can, the black market can be sale at the high price, okay? So, the producer product lower quantity and the producer tend to the receive illegal, illegal payment from the consumer. Why should the government impose a price ceiling on the product? The purpose for the enactment of a price ceiling on a product imposed by government is to enable consumers to obtain some essential goods or services that they could not afford at the equilibrium price. If the government does not charge the ceiling price, then the suppliers will take the opportunity to impose unlimited high price on the product. The second purpose is for the enactment of a price shilling on a product. To restrain inflation if the government can impose price shilling on a very wide range of products. This is done to make products affordable to the general public.
Assalamualaikum. Now I want to explain the situation in the market for long beans before and after the price ceiling. Look at the diagram. Before the price ceiling, the market for long beans does not have excess demand. But after the price ceiling, the market for long beans have excess demand. At restricted price, the quantity demand remained greater than quantity supply and a state of excess demand existed. Effects of a price ceiling the price ceiling to six ringgit and fifty cents per kilogram of long beans led to consumers buy with the low price and sell at a high price to another consumers. Because of Hari Raya, many consumers buy a long bean and cause shortage.